is Amazon priced for perfection. I'm Jill Malandrino with the Streets Options Profits. And I'm Scott Redler, Chief Strategic Officer with T3Live.com. Scott, one of the themes that we've seen with earnings season so far, if there's an identifiable theme since we're still young in the season, although it's very heavy today, is that high beta tech names have been bid up so high into the earnings report, so are all of them priced to perfection, but Amazon specifically? I think what you've seen so far is that exact type of situation where they're, they're taking these stocks, they're running them in, into earnings, and they need to be such a blockbuster report in order to push it into new highs, and then obviously give it follow through on that day. You know, Amazon itself, you know, technically has looked really good. Technically, it's, you know, came off the lows, it was hovering near the highs, and it was just kind of ready to rumble. But then once Apple came out and fell to impress, it broke the upper level. So if you take a look at Amazon, you will see that, you know, you had a nice high level consolidation getting ready, right above the highs, waiting for Apple to come out, waiting for Apple to kick butt and go to those areas. But you know what? It didn't happen. Apple broke down. So what you saw is you saw some momentum leave the stock. You know, momentum players got maybe short yesterday or, or just sold once we broke below this 236 to 240. So right now you have a new point of reference because earnings are until... Um, Tuesday, October 25th, after the bell. Exactly. So you have four sessions until then. So you have to have short-term pivots to trade around. So right now, on Amazon short term, I'm sure a lot of my guys are going to be looking at yesterday's low. So if you take a quick look here, stock's up by $2 today. If it shows some relative weakness and you start to see Apple maybe break that 397 area, you know, this will be a good entry below 229 for a quick, cute short. Okay, this is your pivot. And then if we see high beta continue to get weak, it could trade down to this lower area before earnings. And if that was the case, that probably would be good because that means it's not sitting at the top of the range price perf perfection, and if the report is really good and they give good guidance, it could go back up. But if it's going to hover up here and stay at these highs, it's de definitely in jeopardy for no matter what they say, they could just sell it off. Fundamentally speaking, the key thing that investors will be looking for, in addition to the charts and the high beta theme, fire sales is really, their tablet is what investors will be honed in on. The street thinks that estimates might be too low. There's a number of analysts who have taken up their estimates for fire sales, so that's going to be key when we're going through the conference call and picking apart what management is saying is fire sales, how they're doing relative to competition. And again, I think the most important thing that we can take away from earnings season and with high beta tech so far is that downward momentum that's crashing in. Yes, so between now and Tuesday, you have to monitor the action. We have to see whether or not they discounted before Tuesday's earnings, or if they try and hold it up here, because if they hold it up here, they better deliver on those reports. Otherwise, it'll be sold just the way Apple has been sold, just the way like even IBM, it's not a high beta name, but it had a big run into earnings, was a solid report, but it wasn't enough. So you have to know where they came from, where they're sitting the day of earnings, and what that highest whisper is out there. Okay, we'll see what happens Tuesday, October 25th, after the bell. Thanks, Scott. My pleasure.